In this quick overview video, we will look at the risk simulator software created by Real Options Valuation Inc. This software has very sophisticated analytics, but at the same time is very easy to use. In fact, as you will see for yourself, most of the analysis can be done automatically with a few mouse clicks. Also, the software comes in multiple languages including English, Spanish, Japanese, Chinese, and additional languages are forthcoming. The software developer, founder, and CEO of our company, Dr. Jonathan Munn, has authored 10 books on the subject. And to complement this vast resource of books, detailed user manuals, sample case studies of corporations and actual uses of the software, multiple example models, and so forth are all available for download. Not to mention these series of live videos to get you started almost immediately. And all these videos are a little bit more detailed, but they are available for free. We will now very quickly show you the power of Risk Simulator. Do not worry about the details, as later on in future video segments, we will detail everything step by step. This quick test drive is only meant to provide a 30,000 foot view of the software. So just sit back and watch. And by the way, if the video size is too small, you can always double click anywhere in a video to zoom in if you're using a computer. This is a sample model showing how Monte Carlo simulation is run. Your model can be as simple or as complicated as you want, and Risk Simulator will run it inside Excel. Or you can use our other software tools to run simulations outside of Excel, such as using ROV Risk Modeler, ROV Risk Extractor, and so forth. All that is required is as simple as 1, 2, 3. Set a profile, set inputs and outputs, and run. Let's take a look at how simple it is to set up a model to run. And by the way, assuming you install the software, when you start Excel, you will see Risk Simulator starting as well. There are multiple sets of icons you can rotate among or access all the functionalities through Risk Simulator's main menu. Help files, user manuals, and multiple example models are available from the menus and icons as there are over 1,000 functions and models in the ROV Modeling Top Toolkit software, which works together with Risk Simulator, and our in-class hands-on trainings, training DVDs, and 10 published books authored by Dr. Jonathan Munn on these topics. To illustrate how simple it is to set up and run a simulation, take for instance a simple example where we have the world's simplest model. On the left, we have a static situation where $2 minus $1 equals $1. In a perfect world without risk and perfect foresight, this model is perfect. However, in a world fraught with uncertainty and risk, we are not sure if we will get exactly $2 million in revenue or cost exactly a $1 million and so forth. So, we can run a simulation on this model, which again is as simple as 1, 2, 3. First, we set up a profile. A profile provides a place to store all the inputs and outputs we are about to set up. Then, we select the input revenue, and let's say this value $2 million happens to be uncertain. We can set this as an input assumption in a simulation by clicking on Set Input Assumption, either on the icon toolbar or in the menu. Here there are over 25 distributions you can choose from, but to get started we will use the triangular distribution, where we have a worst case, most likely, and best case scenario, and we enter in some values. We can do the same thing for cost as an input by setting it up as a uniform distribution or an equally likely probability of anywhere between the minimum and maximum values. Then, we set the output or result cell as the output forecast. Now we're done. Profiles, inputs, and outputs. Now let's run the simulation. Notice that while the simulation is running, everything in the model comes alive and starts moving. In essence, you're running thousands of scenarios and scenario analyses simultaneously in a coherent and structured statistical and mathematical way. And by the way, in case you are impatient, we even have a super speed simulation tool that will run the analyses at 10 to about 1,000 times faster on average. Finally, we will see next how to briefly use the resulting forecast charts. The results from a simulation are forecast charts that we will spend a lot of time on in follow-up videos and live training courses where we will decipher them in more detail. Briefly, you can view the resulting risk statistics, change the preferences of the look and feel of the charts, and perform confidence and probability analysis. For instance, you can select two tail and enter in a percent value and hit tab 
on the keyboard to get the two tail confidence interval, which means that in this case, 90% of the time, your net income will be between $0.814 million and $1.137 million. That is, there's a 5% chance it will be below this value, 0.814, or 5% chance it will be above this $1.137 million. Alternatively, you can select one tail and enter in a value and hit tab to get the probability percentile instead. For instance, there is a 61% chance that your project will yield less than the projected $1 million. So you think you're getting a million dollars, but there's a 61% chance you will not even hit your projected million dollars. Now imagine if you have multiple projects, and if all of them have similar financial situations like 2 minus 1 in this case, it will be fairly difficult to decide which project to invest in. However, with simulations, you can get the probabilities of events occurring, and hence the risk. Now you can add an extra element of information and knowledge to your decision-making process. Therefore, you can now choose the project with the highest probability of success and so forth, or be able to identify your value at risk or what the chances are that you might lose your shirt and so forth, as well as obtaining a lot of risk statistics that you can compare one project against another. The next question you will probably ask is what distributions do I use for the model and how do I choose? Is it a normal, a triangular, uniform, beta, gamma, weibull, and so forth? Well, you have books to go into the theoretical underpinnings of each of these distributions and when to use them. Specifically, look at Dr. Jonathan Munn's Modeling Risk textbook. Or, if you have data, such as this example, simply select the data and run a distributional fitting tool in Risk Simulator. This will test all the theoretical distributions and tell you which has the best fit and how good the fit is. Therefore, this tool takes all the guesswork out of your simulation modeling. You are then probably asking yourself which inputs would you set as assumptions. Risk Simulator's tornado analysis will take care of identifying the critical success factors and key drivers in your model by identifying which inputs are most critical and have the highest impact on the outcome of your model. The result is a nice detailed report with scenario tables and tornado charts that identify which of your inputs are critical in the analysis. Now you can spend more time getting better input data and assumptions on these key variables rather than spending time on the wrong inputs. Risk Simulator also has over 15 basic and advanced forecasting tools that are super simple to use and can be run within a few mouse clicks away. Here is a list of the advanced forecasting techniques such as ARIMA, Auto Econometrics, Basic Econometrics, Cubic Spine, Garch, Markup Chains, Multiple Regression, Time Series Decomposition, Trend Lines, and much more. Here is an example of some historical data. Let's see how simple it is to run a time series forecast. Simply select the data, select the time series forecasting tool, enter in how many periods you wish to forecast, and you're done. It takes a few seconds, and the results are shown in a detailed report. Complete with the forecast results set up as assumptions, which means the forecasts are no longer single point estimates but dynamic in nature. You are also provided the accuracy and error measurements of the forecast and a nice forecast chart is provided. Notice that in this chart, the analysis performs a backcast or fitting to historical data before performing a forecast of future predictions. Notice that the forecast picks up the upward trend and seasonality swings automatically from your forecast or historical data. By running through advanced algorithms and techniques, it does a backfitting of historical data before it does a forecast fit. We have many more advanced forecasting tools, all of, all of which are just as simple to run and yield detailed reports, tables, and charts as you see here. Next, if you have a lot of very different and risky projects or investments to choose from, but at the same time you have a very limited budget or limited resources such as full-time employees, budget constraints, and so forth, which ones do you choose to create the best portfolio of investments? The answer is you can use Risk Simulator to run portfolio optimization to find the best combination of projects and investments subject to budget and resource constraints as we're seeing here. You can also use portfolio optimization for investment portfolio allocations to find a portfolio with the highest return to the least amount of risk, subject to risk and uncertainties in the rates of return. 
In this example, we're running a stochastic optimization where simulations are first run to determine the risk and uncertainties of each asset class. And then an optimization is applied, and the process is repeated many times. To learn how to set up this model and to run an optimization, refer to some of the more detailed getting started videos that are free and available on our website. Do you have lots of data and do not know what to do with them? Well, there are multiple tools such as data diagnostics and statistical analysis in Risk Simulator. Let's see what these things do in less than two or three mouse clicks away. All you need to do is select the data, click on the tools that you wish, answer a few basic questions, and hit OK. And you can perform all the analysis you wish quickly and without any effort on your part. And the results come complete with detailed reports to get you started in the interpretation of the results. We now conclude this Risk Simulator quick introduction video by reminding you of the valuable resources available through Real Options Valuation Inc. We hope you learn a thing or two and are impressed with the power of our Risk Simulator software and just as impressed with its ease of use and advanced analytics. Please know that we only have touched the surface of the tools so far and there are much more advanced analyses available, which we will detail in these upcoming videos. Also, you can get much more technical details in the user manual and in our books. We continually strive to add new tools and techniques to our software, so keep checking back every few months or so. Also, do keep in mind we have additional software applications such as Real Options SLS, Employee Stock Options Evaluator Software, ROV Modeling Toolkit, Basel 2 Modeling Toolkit, ROV Basel 2 Modeler, ROV Extractor Evaluator, ROV Modeler, ROV Dashboard, ROV Compiler, and many others. Do not forget to visit our website at www.risksimulator.com or www.realoptionsvaluation.com for software updates, FAQs, free models, free sample videos, case studies on how these tools are used in real life applications and corporations, and much, much more. Thank you for your time, thank you for your attention, and we do highly recommend that you continue to watch our follow-up detailed videos.